It's designed as a modern, forward-thinking environment for learning. A £15 million rebuild that's helped deliver year-on-year -year improved results and better student behaviour for a school that was once failing. When I first arrived, the school was suffering in terms of standards, but also the buildings were appalling. They were very badly designed, they were falling apart, and we really needed to do something. So the governors and I wrote a bid with the local authority to build a new school. We then set out for, for bidders to come in. Stepnell were one of those bidders. With 140 years in engineering and conscious of White Cross School's green commitment, Stepnell designed, constructed and still maintains the new site in Herefordshire, using materials from sustainable sources and renewable energies. The thing that has really been very powerful during the whole process, including now, is the relationship we've had. I felt that Stepnell and their architects really understood what we wanted, what was important to us as a school. And the first time we saw the plans for the school, it was as if somebody had just taken the, the dream out of my head and put it on paper, which was fantastic. Stepnell and Education have been working together for many, many years, and we understand that whilst it's not us that actually delivers the information to the students, we have to give the teachers the best opportunity of getting that information into their heads. The building that Stepnell has designed here at White Cross aims to provide the most educationally efficient school that we can. So what we've done is we've provided an environment that is a constant temperature, regardless of what the temperature is outside in terms of very cold or very hot. Uh, we've made sure that there's a constant flow of fresh air into the classroom to make sure that the levels of carbon dioxide and other contaminants within the atmosphere are down to the absolute minimum. And we've also provided a maximum amount of daylight to ensure that we're keeping the energy costs low and daylight has also been shown as being very conducive to good learning. So part of the sustainability agenda was all the timber that we're using. A high-tech mechanical ventilation system and heavy mass were just some of the features conceived by Stepnell's architects, assisted by the students. A big driver in the design of the project has been the input from students. They wanted a healthy school and that meant going outside between classrooms, which is why it's designed the way it is, but also within the classroom to make it a really great place to learn. There's clearly pride among the school's 900 pupils. It's a great environment to be in. When you're showing people around, you just think, wow, this is actually our school. When you walk in and you see the cedar roofs, it reminds you that it's an eco-school. When the lights turn off behind you, it reminds you that it's an eco-school. You don't feel all in a little box and you feel like there's lots of space to do what you want and learn properly. If you're in a run-down place, then the students will feel run-down, but if you're in a place where it's modernised, they're, they're ready to learn more, I think. Across Herefordshire in Lemster, another project is taking shape. Stepnell's £20 million design and build of the Minster Secondary School, where student involvement is a core objective. To date, we've had nearly 600 students come through this site since we started, and each one of those is taking away an understanding of how the industry works and the sort of difference that they could make in our what is a very exciting industry. And it's that desire to inspire students that Stepnell says underpins its approach to educational construction designing and delivering schools that aim to provide the perfect learning environment.